The world is vast, diverse, and filled with incredible people. And it's all been captured in one solid book. Introducing the brand new coffee table book, Humanity, A Glimpse of Us. This is a breathtaking collection of portraits that celebrate the unique cultures, faces, and stories of people from every corner of the earth. From the bustling streets of New York to the remote villages of the Pacific Islands, each image tells a story. Every smile, Every gaze, every detail is a window into a life, a culture, and a moment in time. And this book isn't just about the amazing images. It's about connection. It's a journey around the world, right from your living room. So with this being Jay Sage's very first foray into authorship, I invite you all to be among the first to own this stunning collection and celebrate the beauty of humanity. The world is waiting. Let's explore it together. Welcome back to Perfect Predator, the channel where nature's most formidable hunters take center stage. Today, we're traveling back in time to shine a spotlight on one of the most iconic prehistoric carnivores of the Ice Age, the legendary dire wolf. Scientifically, the dire wolf belongs to the class Mammalia, placing it in the same group as all warm-blooded, fur-covered, milk-producing animals. More specifically, its scientific name is Enosion Dyrus, which translates to terrible wolf in Greek and Latin, a fitting title for a creature that once reigned supreme across the Americas. It was initially grouped under the genus Canis, like the gray wolf, Canis lupus. But recent genetic research has warranted its reclassification under its own unique genus, Enosion. Commonly, it's simply known as the dire wolf, but some researchers have referred to it as the dire hound in older texts. Dire wolves were truly impressive in size, surpassing their modern-day wolf relatives in both weight and robustness. On average, they stood 2.6 to 2.8 feet tall at the shoulder, measured about 5 to 6 feet in length, and weighed between 130 and 150 pounds, although some larger individuals may have topped 175 pounds. For context, that's about 20 to 30 percent heavier than a typical modern gray wolf. Their physical appearance was striking. Massive heads, powerful jaws, and stocky muscular bodies designed for power rather than speed. Unlike the sleek gray wolf, the dire wolf had shorter legs and a more barrel-shaped torso, giving it a lower, more grounded posture. Their bite was absolutely formidable. It was estimated to exert around 1,300 pounds per square inch, perfect for crunching through bone. While we haven't always had confirmed coat colors, artists and paleontologists often depicted them with thick, coarse fur suited to Ice Age climates. That being said, we now have some very compelling evidence that many of their fur coats were white, like the polar bear and other Arctic denizens. But we'll address this a bit more later. As for lifespan, Estimates based on wear patterns in fossilized teeth suggest dire wolves lived around six to eight years in the wild, though some individuals may have survived longer under ideal conditions. Speed-wise, dire wolves weren't built for long chases like modern wolves. They likely reached top speeds of around 35 to 40 miles per hour, which is respectable, but again, they were more suited for short, powerful bursts during ambush-style hunts. Dire wolves thrived across a wide range of environments in North and South America during the late Pleistocene epoch, roughly 250,000 to 10,000 years ago. Their fossilized remains have been unearthed from the La Brea tar pits in California to the swamplands of Florida, and even down into parts of Northern South America. These predators preferred open grasslands, plains, and lightly forested areas where large herbivores congregated. This wide distribution meant they were exposed to varying climates, from cold Ice Age tundras to more temperate, even subtropical regions. Unlike solitary hunters like cougars or leopards, dire wolves are believed to have been pack hunters, similar in behavior to modern wolves and African wild dogs. Fossil sites often contain multiple individuals buried together, 
which supports the idea of cooperative social structure and pack behavior. Their preferred prey included massive Ice Age herbivores, such as ancient bison, horses, ground sloths, and even juvenile mammoths. However, they didn't shy away from scavenging either, often engaging in confrontations with other large predators like saber-toothed cats over carcasses. Their heavy, robust frames and bone-crushing jaws suggest that once a pack brought prey down, they could not only feed on flesh, but also marrow-rich bones. This feeding strategy gave them a powerful edge in a highly competitive ecosystem. Now, here's where things get really exciting. Modern science has seemingly brought the direwolf back from extinction. There are two direwolf brothers that were born in 2024, and they have a little sister named Khaleesi that was born in January of 2025. A genetics company named Colossal, originally known for spearheading de-extinction efforts on woolly mammoths, has turned its attention toward the dire wolf. Using ancient DNA extracted from fossils and gene editing technology like CRISPR, the company has managed to reconstruct the genome of this ancient predator. Their efforts relied on the gray wolf as a genetic template due to assumed visual and behavioral similarities. However, it's worth noting that the most recent consensus among the scientific community would place the dire wolf's closest living relative as the African jackal, making it a distant offshoot that likely diverged over 5 million years ago. Nevertheless, this company's achievement is nothing short of remarkable. Despite the genetic gap, Colossal has developed a proxy species, a living creature that mimics the ecological role and physical traits of the dire wolf. The company's ultimate goal isn't just to resurrect a creature of the past for curiosity's sake, but to perhaps reintroduce ecological balance in degraded environments. This may be achieved by reviving important species that have been lost to recent extinction. From bone-crushing jaws to powerful pack dynamics, the dire wolf was a predator built for dominance in an age of giants. And with the boundary between extinction and resurrection starting to blur, we seem to have reached the day that we have witnessed the return of this Ice Age icon. Not just as a fossil in a museum, but walking the earth once more. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of nature's most formidable predators, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss what creature we uncover next, right here on Perfect Predator.